CloudShell Editor makes it easy for you to write code directly in your web browser and deploy it to the cloud. And Cloud Run makes it easy to deploy highly scalable containerized applications on a fully managed serverless platform. So you might be wondering, can I write the code for my Cloud Run apps in CloudShell Editor? Yes, you definitely can. Thanks to its cloud code integration, CloudShell Editor works great with Cloud Run development workflows, allowing you to build, deploy, and debug your application in just a couple of clicks. In this video, we're gonna see how to use CloudShell Editor to deploy an application to Cloud Run. Let's go. First, visit ide.cloud.google.com to launch the CloudShell Editor. On the status bar at the bottom of your screen, click Cloud Code. From the Cloud Code menu, click New Application and then select the Cloud Run application for the type of sample app we want to create. After that, we'll get a list of Cloud Run templates to choose from. Let's go with the Python Flask option. Next, select a folder in your Cloud Shell environment to save your application to and give it a name. If that looks good, click Create New Application. Cloud Shell Editor clones the files for your sample application from GitHub into a new workspace. You can see the list of files in the Explorer panel located on the left side of the screen. Now let's go ahead and deploy the service. Let's go down to the status bar again and click Cloud Code. This time, we'll click Deploy to Cloud Run. Click Authorize to authorize Cloud Shell to make Google Cloud Platform API calls to give Cloud Shell Editor access to your Google Cloud resource. Since this is the first time using Cloud Run in this project, we're prompted here to enable the Cloud Run API. In the Deploy to Cloud Run dialog under Service Settings, we can set the name for our service, and under Deployment, we can select the region we want it to be deployed to. Since we want to make this a public service, we'll keep Allow Unauthenticated Invocation selected. There are some additional settings we can adjust like container settings, environment variables, and Cloud SQL connections. There are also build settings where you can choose your builder from Docker and build packs. For now, we'll leave those as their default values and click deploy. Cloud Code now builds your image, pushes it to the container registry, and deploys your app to Cloud Run. Once you see the message deployment completed successfully, your service is live and accessible via the URL displayed in the Deploy to Cloud Run dialog. That was pretty easy, and updating your Cloud Run app is just as simple. Let's redeploy our app with an update to this message. Back in our Cloud Shell editor from the Explorer panel, let's open the file app.py. In the hello function, we'll find the message variable that holds the friendly HTTP greeting we just saw. Let's update that message. Cloud Shell Editor automatically saves all file changes. Once we make our changes, we can head back down to Cloud Code down in the status bar. Once again, let's click Deploy to Cloud Run. This time, the service we created before is listed here in the service settings. Let's hit Deploy to deploy our updated service. Once it's done, we can head back to our deployment URL and refresh the page. And there it is. Our app has been redeployed with the updated code. With just a couple of clicks, we are able to deploy, update, and redeploy a simple Cloud Run application. And we are able to do it all directly from our browser window without having to leave our Cloud Shell editor. Do you want to give it a try yourself? Check out the interactive tutorial linked in the description below or by launching it from the Cloud Shell Editor welcome page. For more videos on Cloud Shell Editor and a whole lot more, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join me next time when I'll show you how easy it is to use Cloud Shell Editor to deploy to Google Kubernetes Engine. See you then.